Hey folks, Jonathan again, and messing around with this uh, Deming engine, trying to get the linkage hooked up, and I found these two wrenches, and they're actually, they're not identical, but I mean they're close to being identical wrenches. Uh, I think they're the exact same wrench, they're just different sizes, but that's not going to matter with what I'm doing. I'm going to try... You can see how I've got them sitting. I've got one on this side and one on this side. And my plans are actually to put them in line. You know, they'll be right somewhere in there in line with. Let's try and get it to sit back up there. In line with this rod. And what I'll do is I'll put a, a link rod between it. And as this changes to a different height, you know, from movement, as long as the links are in it, you know, it'll it'll be fine. And like I said, these work as bushings, so we're good with that. Uh, it won't be any pressure up or down on it, plus the air holds it down good anyway, so I'm not worried about that. What I've got to do, though, is get this one connected in to where I'll be able to come out, and I'm going to run another lever up and that will run to the eccentric. This one the same way. It's got to run over and then up and then to the eccentric. And uh, sounds like it's going to be a little complicated, but it's really not. Uh, I'm going to make some pipes to go through with, uh, with it, pipes inside of it. So I'll show you here shortly. Okay, folks, here's what we've got. I uh, plan to, I was going to use this, and I believe this is one inch OD, and uh, I had bored the inside out to fit a piece that I've got to go through it, but this was going to be our pivot piece for our linkage, and I found something else that I sort of liked, it's the same ID, uh, this is off a of Model T. This is part of the, the spring shackles, I believe, but on the front end. But I kind of like the way that looks. Uh, cast iron. I'm trying to keep, you know, an old look to this. But, you know, to put one bolt in it, you can't control the spinning. So I actually took another piece off a of Model T, which this used to have, you know, a ball on it. This actually held, held a ball in its socket. And that's off the steering also. But I think what I'm going to do, if I can get here to where you can see it, is put this in there. I went ahead and machined the top of it off because this was closed of course and this will go in here and I'm going to cut it out of the bolt off and try to get some weld in there or braze it in there either way and make this with the double bolt there that way it can't twist when I mount it in and then I'm going to drill two holes in this base and actually have this bolted in and I think that'll look a little bit more more period to what I'm trying to do and uh, i try to explain to you what I'm doing, but it would be a lot easier just to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done and get this on there. And then uh, I can show you more on the linkage pretty where you can uh, you understand what I'm, what I'm trying to do. I can show you better than I can explain it. So show you more. Okay, here's what we've got. I went ahead and left a stud on the end of this. Uh, drill three holes. You know, one for each side of the of the bracket. Ran this all the way through, and to keep this from turning, I actually welded it on the inside. You know, to this bracket, welded a stud on it, and then of course put a nut on it. So now we've got you know all three holding them on, so it's not going anywhere at all. And uh, and that's going to come up to our linkage. And what I'm going to do for linkage, we'll try to explain it and show it to you. Okay, this piece will run through. Okay. This piece is actually going to operate this arm. Okay. And it will run over and then have another small shorter arm coming up that will uh off of this side that will operate off of the uh the uh, eccentric. Okay. Then this other rod which is nothing but a 3/8 bolt, this will be mounted to it for for our other linkage but it's going to run through the inside of this rod 
and that way this rod will operate independent and then the one inside of it will operate independent and uh, we will extend the smaller one out farther and put the linkage on the end of it and that way we'll have two pieces of linkage here and then we'll have of course our arm coming up for you know the valve on this side and our arm coming up off the small rod for the valve on this side and uh, Okay, folks, we're back on this engine, and here's what we've got. You can see we got the center section. I went ahead and added to it and welded the bushings on it, and I'll finish all that up and grind it and make it look decent. Uh, this is our outer tube. That's our inner tube. And uh, not a tire inner tube. But uh, this one's connected to the inner tube, and this one's connected to the outer tube. And you can see they work... Uh, Let's see if I can get it where you can see here. They work independent. So, what we can do now is come off with our levers onto here. You know, one on the outer one and one on the inner one. And that'll actually run to our eccentrics. But first, we've got to get the linkage hook from here up to our valves and uh, so that's what we're going to do next and uh, get the length on them and I think that will that will work out alright got to finish welding and grinding and all that but uh, like I said just old wrenches here and uh, I think it's pretty good and tight I mean there's not a lot of play or anything in it so it'll work out really well and uh, they'll probably sit out about right there and then, of course, you know, when it slides back, they'll come back here. But, uh, anyway, now we've got to figure out some linkage for this. If you notice, one of these wrenches is bigger, plus it's spread out than the other. So, uh, and, uh, same way down here, that, that end's bigger than this end, but, you know, not a big deal. It's kind of weird, because the, the wrenches had the same exact number on them, but they're two different sizes. So, and, uh, and, of course, I did a spark test on it. And uh, I'm assuming they're forged because uh, they're definitely not cast. And I think what we'll do now is figure out some linkage from the valve back to here. And then once we get that done, we can move it our full travel, figure out where we need to go with our levers off of here. And then we'll know what we can do with our eccentrics. So we're going to work our way back and then we'll get it finished up. Uh, one day timing is coming soon and you know there's like I said there's a lot of different ways you can do this I mean we could have you know done it completely different went down low and done it like the other one you know had one rod sticking out a good ways but you know I didn't want to do it like the other one I wanted to do this one different and uh, you know well it's kind of it's no fun to do the same thing twice so. not to me anyway so that's why I decided to go ahead and change it up there a little bit but we're gonna we're gonna get that linkage done and I'll show you more okay folks I found our linkage I'm gonna use it's a set of 14 inch long hoof nippers and uh, made by Dasco but uh, I looked on eBay and these things bring about nine or ten bucks but I need some linkage so this is neat the way that it's made already got one hole in each side so we'll get that pin out of there but that'll be our one pivot point and then we'll just have to come down and put the other pivot point wherever we need it at I think then will work out nice show you more okay folks I've got my link arms on uh, to head up to here and we're gonna have to put something on here and pin them because we can't hook these in solid to here because as these go forward and back, it actually will raise and lower, and uh, we don't want it to to raise up and lower because it'll put a bind on our valve. So that's what we're going to do next. And uh, we've got our uh, got them pinned good. You can see, it worked out pretty good with the angle. Uh, you know, it actually comes out and then cuts back into the center of this. And goes up to our to our valve so it's going to work out good on both sides 
Uh, they both do the same. I made some pins to put in it with some cotter pins, and uh, that's just three eighths bolts that I turned the heads down on and you know cut off, and uh, and everything's ready on the bottom. And uh, you may be able to see when you move the outside one, as you can see, the uh, the outer shaft turns. And of course, the inner one don't. And then when you hold, when you move the other one, you know the outer turns and the inner don't. So, you know, all I've got to do is come up with two, you know, linkages or actually arms coming from that, and then we'll go from our eccentric to each one of them. And that'll solve all our problems with the linkage. So uh, I think I'll go ahead and stop here on this one and ended up welding these up. Uh, just putting pieces in them, welding them in. You know, we may grind them a little more, do something a little different, uh, you know, before we're done. And then uh, down here, I've got them welded on. I don't know whether we're going to leave it and leave the wrench, you know, just the looks of it like that or change it out but you know the important thing is is we've got it where it'll work and now we'll just keep keep working away at it on the rest of the linkage and we'll get her finished up soon but until next time bye